Now, recently, you, you got uh, Charleston been going at you heavy. You know a little bit. Man, you know what? I ain't, even, I ain't even tripping on blood. I've been catching people be sending me interviews and shit that everybody be posting in the rants and whatnot. It's like this, real. I don't really get moved over conversation. And then the shit that he was speaking on, you know, it's something that I briefly spoke on on the E Greedy TV Don Chief podcast. So y'all just got to go tune in and uh, go through the interviews and y'all to see, you know, me somewhat talking about whatever going on. But, you know, uh, Buddy just, you know, he campaigning how he campaigning. You know, like, you know, I, I ain't really tripping on him in the sense of, you know, mad at him like that because he don't know me and I don't know him. He only know exactly what I tell him. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, it's like shit. Continue on, bro. I ain't fucked up about it, you know, because like you say, you know, for a year and a half, bro was campaigning for me. I was the best thing since sliced bread, you know, so, you know, for it to switch over later and, you know, that's when things go viral. It made me look at it like it looked different. I was like, shit, what about all the times he was saying he loved me? Y'all didn't post that, you know, but as soon as he said, I don't like that nigga, y'all, you know, every blogger took that and ran with it. And I was like, you know, that's cool, but, you know, shit, that we go back a little while ago, shit, you know, y'all to see him saying that he loved me. So I don't, it's mixed, it's mixed, it's mixed confusion with me. I was like, shit, what's happening, baby? You know what I'm talking about? What's, what's the deal? As far as you speaking on, on, on things that we spoke at, you know, I'm a, I'm a come from the street, so I don't really, uh, I'm not exempt from whatever happened goes on when you live in that street life. It doesn't happen to the best of them. But, you know, when you, you know, for y'all want to go, want me to go in detail, just get ready for the documentary, the, the Dun Chief documentary, From the Rooter to the Tutor. And, you know, we go get into all those things. But I, I, I appreciate, buddy. He done helped me get nine, <laughs> 10,000 new followers. You know, I'm talking about the young people. Goddamn me checking in. Check this out. Just as many of them Charleston fans that be coming on out, you know, charge the guard. Off on you, nigga. He said that, 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 that. Man, they coming checking for the kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they coming. Man, who is this chief nigga? You know, who is this woo woo? So I ain't tripping to him. I ain't tripping on him in a sense of like, you know, I want to see him. I knock his head out. We just probably wouldn't rap a taste no more. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, what I rap with you, I didn't, you know, I don't be friend folk. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what females do. Something, you know, they get a guy, you know, and they stop liking them. And soon they stop liking them. You went from, I love you, I love you, to, I hate you, you ain't shit. You wasn't never shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's that kind of move. And I'm like, shit, I'm not, I don't play them games. I'm, I'm a grown man. And if you don't know me, I can't really just get moved off of shit that you saying and what you got going. If it ain't no truth in it, you know what I'm talking about? So. You know, I be checking them out. It's cool. I told them I love it. Do it again. So so with the story of uh, you allegedly being kidnapped, tired of you, your mom, and your daughter, is there some truth to that? Some street shit? I mean, it can happen to anybody in the street. Man, I mean, listen, I mean, we, I'm a street cat. The all thing problem with just get ready for the DVD. You know what I'm talking about? And we go get all the way into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, though. I'm groovy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the shit, that could have been 10 years ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, I'm groovy. Right now, today, 2023, ain't we in 2022? Shit, I'm groovy. You know, that, you know, I got, I got testimonies, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what make me who I am. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why the people fuck with me. Because I do got testimonies, and I could tell them same stories that a lot of niggas who ain't got that voice or that platform want to say but can't say because it ain't nobody that's willing to listen. But... You know, shit, <laughs> anybody that's having something, if you ain't having nothing, then you ain't no person that people want to get close to. You wouldn't be able to relate to this. But anybody having something, if you from the streets, being a rapper, being a sports player, listen, I done seen all kind of news. Sport nigga, just young nigga that just got in the NFL, just got robbed, got shot. Yep, you know yep. what I'm saying? Like, nobody's exempt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, but, you know, we got testimonies and, you know, just, just lock in with me. I'm going to go talk about, you know, everything. You know what I'm saying? Because... Shit, I'm real. I could, I, I'm one of the best that did it and got away with it. My shoes on the motherfucking vibe wise, like real talk. So I'm groovy. Yeah, For I'm sure. groovy. 